Hello everyone, in this video, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm going to show you how you can set up a rider for the bikes and the motorbikes and the push bikes. So I'm going to show you how to do it with a push bike, just because a um, motorbike's a bit simpler. So, without further ado, let's get into it. It's going to go, I've made a new scene already, just to make it easier. I'm going to add in the terrain. And then I'm also going to sort of move it back a bit just so we're more in the centre for when we drive around. So what I'm going to do is just go on the um, on the prefabs and then I'm going to drop in a bike that doesn't have a rider. And then also I'm going to just add in the rider as well like that and then I'm just going to reset this transform and this rotation zoom in on it and then I'm going to move these both up a bit like that also I'm going to unpack these prefabs just so it doesn't affect the ones I've already made and then so let's starting off I'm just going to click up here and then add with rider set up new push bike just so we can get the sort of empty objects we need and know where they need to go but before I do that I'm just going to drag this man put it as a child of the push bike I'm going to grab this head follow position also put that as a child of the push bike and then under the pedals here we've got feet poles so I'm going to open the pedals drop in the feet poles under pedal pivot under the left and right pedal we've got the left and right foot positions so there again I'm going to go on to the pedal pivot, open up the left and right pedals and then drop in the left foot position and the right foot position. And then finally we just have under the wheels and steering, we've got under the fork pivot we have hand positions. So I'm going to open up the same bit here and then drop in the hand positions under the fork pivot. Now we can just get rid of this empty object that we've made and we've got everything here now to set it up. So I'm going to start with the hand positions and then so the right hand position, I'm going to go in isometric view for this and then drop it roughly where it should go here and then rotate, move it along here. And now what we can do is if we copy this and then paste it in here and then change this X1 to minus and then it should go to the other handle there and then so the left hand pole I'm just going to move it roughly here out here and then just do the same thing, copy it put it on the right hand pole and then just take away the minus this time I'm not going to set it up perfectly uh, there's a bit of tweaking you'll have to do to get it to look really good. And so now I can go onto the feet position. So if I go onto the pedal group here, we've got the right foot position. I'm going to put it roughly here. And then also put it above. And then note that because this ankle bone is where it's going to be following this foot position, we need it to have this sort of gap from the pedal otherwise its ankle is going to be sat on the pedal and its foot will be underneath so when I've got that about right you can't actually copy and paste because the left foot position is going to be somewhere else so I'm going to get behind it put it above it there and that's about good and now on the foot poles right here we can just move that about there move it forward and then we can just copy this and then paste it on the left foot pole and then again minus this to be on the other side and then finally we just got this head follow position I'm going to put above the head and then so now we can go ahead and actually assign the follow positions to the bones here 
and then also this will work with any rigged character you've got so you don't have to use this one you can just make your own get one off Mixamo or whatever so the first one is we're going to go onto the chest the neck and then the head end here and then just put this head follow position and this one doesn't have a pole um, so what we can do next is on the right arm if we go to the hand and this is where we want to add in our hand positions which is under the fork parent so if we go on the hand positions we've got a right hand position and right hand pole and then if we do the same on the left we've got a left hand position left hand pole so now I'm going to just minimise the whole chest bit and then also minimise the wheels and steering because we won't need that at the moment so now we've got the left bit for the left feet so it's actually on the left foot here we need to go on the right pedal or the left pedal actually left foot position and then the left foot pole and then we can just do the same for the right on the right foot we've got the right foot pole right foot position oh, right foot position and right foot pole and now technically oh, after one thing just because I'm in a new scene um, we have here Lamar set to ground by default for this prefab anyway I'm just going to set this to everything this basically just detects what angle you are so if you're doing a wheelie it helps you from going too far back because there's a problem with the unity wheel colliders only using one ray so if you go to 90 degrees like half the wheel will be in the ground which obviously isn't ideal so now if we press play after if you put a this third person camera script on see we can just follow it around and see if there's any adjustments we need to make so as you can see it works quite nicely already like the animations already working because of this head follow position it's got the script on which you can change so say we want this at one and then we lean forward or like two we can lean forward a lot more and then say this is minus one <laughs> obviously you can't actually go back that much so this is something you can play with um, a few more things also on the the hand positions um, which will be under the wheels and steering having it on there because again it's the end of this bone that's going to follow it so we probably want it more about here and then once again copy it and then paste it for the left hand and then you can see that's on there quite nicely uh, one extra thing on the script for the inverse kinematics on this say we want an extra rotation so say if you want the foot to bend out a bit so if I set this to like 45 and then we'll have the right foot at a 45 degree angle oh well it's the left foot but you can see the left foot stuck out there and then if I um, change this like X value you can see it twisting up and then you can also set the rotation parent here if you want to have um so if this would be rotating the kind of the shin bone so if you change this on the Y you can see you can change the the bone position for the knee joint that was loud so anyway with that I'm sure you can set up your own riders on anything doing it on a motorbike is a lot simpler because um, you don't have to put the feet position anything to do with the pedals so it just makes it a bit simpler to set up if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.